Alright, hey everybody, and welcome back to part 3 of Let's Play Super Metroid. Let's continue. Now we have the long, arduous task of hunting down the grapple beam. where it was I was supposed to go. I mean, I figured that I had to go to the, to the wrecked ship. And then I remembered, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I need to get a rebel beam. Oh, yeah, that's right. That one part of Norfair that you couldn't access before because she didn't have a sword. Now I got him, so let's go check it out. First of all, I had to re-record this audio because um, I can't edit audio. Um, so yeah, and uh, got a little embarrassing. Uh, basically, uh, near the end of uh, this first part of the let's play, I got interrupted by uh, one of my family members. So I was, I'd like to have that cut out, but I can't edit, and uh, so, yeah, that's my problem. I'm sticking. I'm sticking to it. I think when I do any videos, it's always a little bit of a pain in the ass. It's always having to re re record stuff like this. You gotta do what you gotta do. for the most part that, uh, you know, that when I did a lot of this stuff, I had a little bit more uh, expertise when it came to trying to edit everything. I mean, as far as editing your videos, uh, it's pretty easy, and really, I don't have to do that much editing unless, you know, there's a problem or a mistake, or, you know, or if I get interrupted, like I did on my previous uh, Mega Man 2 Let's Play, where everybody kept calling me, and then people were coming into my room. And... Ah. Just those simple parts about reality that can make your life a little bit of a pain, particularly when you're trying to do something. I suppose it could have been a lot worse. Anyway. What the hell am I even doing here? I'm, I'm trying to hitch a ride. I'm telling you, it's not going to work. I don't know who you're trying to fool here, but big boy. But you're getting nowhere do doing this. Ah, finally I'm going to get some. Yes, that's right. Run away. Run away like the scared little man that you are. Yes. Yes. So, Super Metroid. Yeah, I played this game a lot when I was a kid. A lot. I haven't played it in a, in a good while. And replaying it again on the... On the Wii Virtual Console with the, the Wii Classic Controller. Well, hell, I mean, playing a lot of games with the with the Wii Virtual Console controller is it be, be a little bit jarring because uh, you know the controller is not the same, and sometimes doesn't feel as responsive, and can sometimes feel a little wonky. Yeah, 
this is always the fun part about the water level, is trying to move around the goddamn area. Oh, God. Yeah, see, so if, if you'll notice, if you just try to jump normally onto a platform, you won't be able to get up high enough, but if you flip, then yeah, you, you can get up there no problem. But when you flip, you become more uncontrollable. If that makes any sense. Yeah, nothing more boring than just watching somebody play a video game. <laughs> I suppose in some ways it's the fun commentary that helps. But as I'm uh, re-recording this audio over uh, over the video capture editor that I have, I, I get no audio back as I'm recording this and basically playing the video. So... Makes it a bit annoying. These sand pits are always such a pain in the ass. Particularly uh, this gravity uh, curtain. What the hell you call it? That just basically it just it just forces you back down. The long arduous task of going back to the platform. Still a good game though. Uh, I can only imagine my frustration. Oh, right, map room. But hopefully I'll get it here in a minute. Backtracking the video game. At least you have this frickin' map system so that you can remember your way around. As opposed to just blindly just going in some random direction. Back in Norfair. Nice to know that you have to get a power up in order to get access to the friggin' map room of Norfair. Norfair, I think, is probably the biggest area because it's two parts. Because there's this beginning part and then there's uh, the second. And that's, you know, after you've gotten everything else and taken care of uh, the, the wreck ship and, and then you come back here with everything else, with the gravity boots, and, and the gravity suit, and, uh, the gravity jump, I believe. It's 
It's kind of funny. I mean, I'm after doing something like this, I'm almost tempted to want to do uh, a let's play on uh, on the Metroid Prime game. I haven't played that game in a while either. That was a pretty damn good game. But I have to finish doing uh, Mega Man 2 first, and, and and then I'll finish doing this. Because sadly, uh, on the Wii Virtual Console, uh, you can kind of only prematurely save a game only once on the on the Virtual Console. Uh, you do it by pressing uh, the home button. Yeah, and then you'll, you know, go back to your main menu. And then usually if you go back to a game you were previously just playing, uh, it'll start you back off, like, right where uh, you pressed uh, the home button for the Wii. Which is very convenient, so it can kind of save you on passwords and shit. But it'll only do that for only one game. At least as far as I've seen, it'll only do that for, me for one game. So... So hopefully I can finish up Mega Man 2 tonight after I finish re-recording this. And then I'll get back on Super Metroid. It's kind of tiring. Knowing I have so much to do. Not really. More backtracking. Isn't it so exciting? Uh, so what other new things? I might be seeing about trying to get back into trying to do another uh, quote unquote uh, movie review. But, you know, there's that. Uh, there are. There is, of course, the lingering thought of, you know, you'll probably get slapped with another uh, uh, copyright infringement claim on your video. Uh, but, you know, you have to expect these things. Really, you just have to know how to handle them and know, it, and know what to do and know how to respond. So, anyway, I, anyway, I would really like to do another one because I actually kind of have ideas for another one. Part of the problem is that my uh, the the editing software that I have, which comes from uh, my video capture box, is called uh, uh, ArcSoft Showbiz, and it's pretty easy to use, but it's just so shitty. I mean, every single time I use it, uh, it's giving me a few basic problems. Uh, for one, if I try to do too many things at once. Say, for example, I double click on something just a little bit too fast, the whole thing crashes. And then I have to, you know, close it and then bring it back up and, you know, and then just start all over again. And then my other problem, like uh, a while ago, I was working on a Skyrim related uh, project that I handed over to a friend of mine who's going to edit it, but I don't know how long that's going to take. And, um, and the project was just about done. It was, I had maybe a few other things to, to, to finish and edit, and I had saved the project on my editor. And it was saved as a video program on, on my files, and I still had it. A day later, I go back to the video to, to go and finish it, and I go to open it, and the program says that it can't be found. Would I like to relink it? As far as I'm concerned, that means diddly dick. Relink it to what exactly? Doesn't matter what you try to relink it to, because it's not going to be what you were working on. So I was like, oh, that's fucking wonderful. Thank you so much, you piece of shit, for, for losing my project. So that's another dwindling problem I have on my mind is that anytime I anytime I try to start working on a project, I better finish it because if I don't, my editor is just going to lose it. Kind of pisses me off. <sighs> I suppose if I just had some better programs, I could probably do this, but 
if I had a different editing program, it would probably be a different piece of software I would have to relearn how to use. So. Oh. The problems of wanting to be a video maker. Oh well. All trials and tribulations in the end. That's all it is. Anyway, let's get back to talking about me playing this video game. find my way around here to see what's what so far. Shooting up pirates and taking their shit. Aw oh, yeah. Cause that's what I do. Aw oh, yeah, going crazy. With the aiming. I do wonder if and when they'll do another uh, Metroid game. I mean, I think they might be planning to do one for the Wii U eventually. Maybe. Maybe not. But here we go. Mid boss. I heard this guy's name. But he's probably uh, the easiest uh, mid boss. I mean, I mean, he doesn't really attack you. I mean, he kind of does, but. It's, All you gotta do is pop them in the mouth. Every time. Fight over. Yeah, uh, the way uh, you defeat him and the way he dies is pretty. It's pretty messed up. I remember uh, the first time I got through this, I killed him, and this whole thing happens like, oh, oh, dude, dude, let's go! So awesome! Oh, I actually can see his skin melting off. And then you run over here. It's like, oh, dead end? Uh, well, what do I do now? I mean, there's no place else for me. Uh oh. Uh oh, oh snap! Oh snap, what's gonna happen? Back from Morda. Uh oh, oh yeah, that's right, you came because you're just a skeleton and now you're dead. Yeah. That was pretty cool back in the day. It was pretty sweet. Might as well save here. Why not? Yeah, so uh, just in case if uh, some people are wondering, uh, what exactly was uh, the problem that happened that I had to re-record this audio? Well, basically, um, uh, I live with a family member, basically. And, uh, you know, and I was in the middle of recording. I was probably just about finished uh, with what I was working on. And basically, she came in uh, to tell me goodnight. Um, I live with my grandmother, basically. And she came in to tell me goodnight. Uh, and my audio catcher caught it, uh, obviously. And, well, I kind of... I kind of overreacted at the end. No, I, no, I didn't overreact at her. You know, I wasn't screaming at her, you know, or... You know, or anything terrible like that. It was just, uh, you know, she came in and told me goodnight, I told her goodnight, and... You know, and then, you know, she left, and I just... And I just kind of had a little mini fit, like, son of a bitch, god damn it. And I really didn't want that on the audio. So, yeah. Yeah, it was kind of embarrassing. But... Oh, well. That's life. And life is embarrassing. So... And like they say, all families are embarrassing. And if they're not embarrassing, then they're dead. 
the grapple beam! Let's get back to talking about the game. Yeah! Let's do that. Yeah, this was another really cool addition to the to the game series. The grapple beam. Still, I find it so very hard to believe that, uh, you know, because bear in mind, I mean, up until this point, we only had, uh, three Metroid games. There was, there was the first on, on the Nintendo, there was another one on the Game Boy, and then there was this one. I do wonder exactly now how far apart, uh, those, uh, all the game sequels were to each other. I mean, I imagine that had to be by quite a few years, originally. Yeah, it was right about here that uh, that I was wondering, like, was it possible for me to bypass all this crap and just get to it? And then I remembered, oh yeah, that's right, there was a there was a door, there was a there was a security lock door that I wasn't able to access, so. I was actually trying to figure out, like, hey, can I bypass that? And no, actually I couldn't. Just me being silly. It's like, oh yeah, man, I totally could have done that. I'm like, oh yeah, wait, right. Door. That's everything, yo. Let's get going. Let's do this shit. One other thing I'd like to say about trying to edit all this, all this stuff, is that one thing that just, that just utterly annoys the crap out of me is, um, uh. So every time I'm capturing a video and then I'm, you know, recording the audio uh, with a different audio program, is that, um... So as you all may have noticed, uh, and, and I'm, I'm sure something that's pretty fairly typical for just about anybody that uh, who does Let's Plays, is that, um... I keep on noticing how every single time whenever I start up uh, my capture box, uh, the video for my game is about a second or so behind from itself. So every single time I try to sync up the audio and the video, it's always off. I don't know. Here I was trying to remember how to do the side sweep. I'll get back. And we're back. Yeah, I had to, I had to create a separate video after my little mistake. I was saying, uh, what I was trying to perform earlier was, uh, I remember with the speed boost that, uh, you could, uh, I don't know what they call it, you could, where you charged, and then, you know, not just instead of jumping up, but you could also perform, like, a side, uh, power swoop, or whatever it was called, where basically you just, like, sped off to the side, but you could also do it in various different directions. I just can't remember exactly how you did it. But uh, I was saying earlier about my capture box. Uh, every single time I start up my capture box, it's always about a second and a half behind uh, from my uh, from what's happening on my television. So yeah, so obviously all my audio is me reacting to what's happening on the television, and then when I try to sync it up with the video, which, with what I have, is kind of impossible to do. You know, because I can edit video all I want with this, but I can't edit audio with it. I did have an audio uh, editor, but it wasn't exactly user or noob or idiot friendly, so I couldn't really use it. I did actually find a way uh, to manipulate the audio to the point where I could speed it up or slow it down, so that was actually kind of entertaining for a little while. 
but yeah. Uh, other than that, it was kind of useless for what I needed it for. Well, and I'm sure it's plenty useful, but since it really doesn't try to tell you how to use it, or really give any, any clear indication on how to use it, fuck it. Uh, and now, I, now I'm making the long, arduous trip all the way back to my ship. Backtracking, backtracking, isn't it exciting? So the other day I, I was uh, re-watching uh, season one of The Simpsons. I remember uh, very early season, uh, as far as I can re recollect, uh, not being very good, being very slow, and kind of boring, and not really all that funny. Maybe it's because I'm much older now than when I was, when I, when I was first watching The Simpsons. But, um, season one feels very classic and very good to me. Very good and very funny, actually. Uh, it's more about subtle than character humor, as opposed to just being over-the-top wacky and just over-ridiculous, kind of like what Family Guy has, di has divulged into. But then again, Family Guy was always kind of like that, but they weren't to that extreme that they are now, and it's really just terrible and unwatchable. Now that's bullshit right there. I'm, I'm trying to get out of this fucking pit, but I'm clearly fucking stuck. Jesus Christ. Now that was irritating. So yeah, so season one of The Simpsons, uh, yeah, the animation is pretty bad, and some of the... some of the voice work can be... maybe not as on par, but... it's a hell of a lot better than what it is now, and I, and I mean, I, I haven't watched The Simpsons probably since after I graduated from high school, maybe. Uh, you know, and I've seen, well, I mean, I, I haven't seen a lot. I'm sure there was more than two episodes I saw after that point. But they, they haven't been funny for a long time. And what's interesting to me was I was really skeptical about the Simpson movie. Uh, when I heard about that, because I remember a lot of collective questions were, why didn't they do this back when the show was still popular? And, you know, and still good and funny. But the movie was great. Come on, just go for the jump, dude. You know you can do it. You can do it! Ow. Yeah, I was worried about uh, whether or not if while I was on the grapple beam and doing all this shit, if I get if I get hit, that, that I would get knocked off. But thankfully, that doesn't happen. Yeah, this game had some pretty interesting uh, interesting mechanics because you know, uh, with any other game that you played, if you were you know swinging on something, you got hit, you totally get knocked off. And there's the X-ray scope. A somewhat useful, but also useless item, particularly if you already know your way around the entire game. And I'm just trying to remember how to use it. This is basically what the X-ray does. This is what the X-ray scope does. It basically shows you like, oh, if you're stuck or if you need to know where to go or what to do, you can use this and you can navigate your way around. and. It's very useful and very helpful, particularly if this is your first time playing through the game. And also if you just really want to collect everything in the game. So, why not? That was another uh, very interesting thing. I think one other item that was carried over uh, into the Prime games, if I remember correctly, I believe it was. Along with all the other weapons and, uh, and 
uh, and gun upgrades. I really want to play Metroid Prime now, just to remember if uh, how much was carried over. I never beat uh, Metroid Prime. I think the I think a good majority of the Metroid games I never beat. Uh, I never beat one, at least not without cheating. You know, uh, entering in uh, that, uh, that password that gives you everything and starts you off with half, half your armor. Uh, I never beat Metroid 2. I beat this. I came close to beating Metroid Prime. Uh, I beat Metroid Fusion. And that's about it. Those were pretty much all the Metroid games I played. Uh, I I do have Zero Mission. But Zero Mission is basically uh, it's an updated remake of the original. It's still good though. It just tries to connect things a little bit more to everything else. It's a kind of a retcon, basically. Yeah, Metroid Fusion was really good. Yeah, but the Metroid Prime games were really good too. It, at least, I mean, I still thought that the, that the first one was pretty awesome. It certainly took uh, what was already a really good concept and just did something new and, and better with it, quite frankly. Kind of pains me now that, uh, kind of makes me feel sad now that we'll never get to see, uh, Retro Studios, uh, take on Mega Man. Oh well. Nobody else cares. Well, we're nearing the end. I'm gonna save here, and then I will call it quits. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Boom.